This is Juniority. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Juniority. I'm your host, Lear George. Today, I'm extremely thrilled to introduce you to our guest, Pranav Kalyan. As founder and president of the Agora Math Circle, a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to teaching math to all ages, Pranav can be found on the weekends teaching his students and grading papers. Before we meet him, watch this. Well, the Agora Math Circle was a place where you can really go deep into math and it's a really mutually helping place where you can learn from people about your age. I went to the same middle school as uh, Pranav and we were in this math club together and his father, when they opened up this foundation, invited me to be part of it. I was one of the first students in Agora Math Circle. Mm -hmm. It used to be just in his garage and then more and more students started coming in and then we came into the school. It really focuses on helping kids truly understand the concepts instead of just doing the homework, like stressing out for tests and things like that. I like how they get a bunch of kids in here and then after you take a test or something, they explain all the questions. In school, you kind of just get your grades back and not see what you did wrong. I'm able to challenge myself here because the word problems are harder and the questions are harder. I think I'm in good hands. Like I'm being taught by someone that's clearly amazing and has done amazing things. I'm very motivated by his achievements, especially seeing all his awards and achievements. I think back to myself, if a, a middle schooler can do this many achievements, why can't I do the same? His achievements are amazing and the best thing about it is he's giving it to us and that for free. I'm extremely proud of him and he's a very inspiring boy. When I look at his achievements, I also want to be better and I'm just incredibly proud of him. It's insane to see how much he has achieved at such a young age. Welcome back everyone. Pranav, thank you for being here. I'm very grateful to have you. So tell me, how did you become so good at math? It took a lot of practice to become this good. I read lots of books and I solved countless problems which helped, which gave me the practice I needed to be good at it. That must have taken a lot of time. You've mentioned in the past what a big role Ms. Tanaka has played in your success. Tell me more about her. Mrs. Tanaka was my Kumon instructor for the entire program. She helped me by giving me a lot of practice and pointing out my mistakes. Usually Kumon only gives you five pages, but if I finish early, she sometimes gives me ten, which enabled me to complete Kumon faster. At six years old, you were writing programs and developing web pages. What type of programs were you writing? I was writing programs using a language chart called HTML. Using that language was non-interactive, which means there's no buttons, and it was purely meant for design. The web pages were very simple with some designs on them. How many did you make? A lot of them. <laughs> Five days before your 10th birthday, you became the youngest Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist. You said it was a huge milestone in your life. Why was it so important to you? The Microsoft Certification proved that I could program using ASP.NET. ASP.NET was a very hard language, and using that you can program a, a lot of interactive programs. The test was hard, so it was just me accomplishing something difficult. Did you like do it multiple times, the test, or just one time? One time. One time, but there were two tests. Oh. Two different tests. Tell me about Moore Park College, and why did you decide to go to that college? Moore Park College is one of the best community colleges. It's ranked fourth in the nation. It had amazing teachers and faculties who helped me get in, and they actually gave me a chance to try college. They also were very close to our home, so we can easily go there. It's really good that you found that college. Thank you. How were you able to go to college before finishing high school? I was a special admissions student. I couldn't take more than 12 units per semester, and I was still officially a student of my middle school. You graduated with a 3.95 GPA. To name a few classes you took at Moore Park College, math, applied differential equations, physics, thermodynamics, electricity and magnetism, mechanics of solid and fluid, and much, much more. Were taking all these classes difficult for you at all? We spaced all the classes evenly, so we'd take one easy class and one hard class. 
and we try to take as many units as we can so we would be effectively using our time. And physics and math came very easily to me since math came easily to me. Are you still pursuing your associates in physics, astrophysics, and chemistry? Yes, I am. I'm also pursuing some extra courses so I can transfer to UCLA. I'm going to use those associate degrees to transfer to UCLA to get my bachelor's degrees in one of those subjects. That's amazing. As a result of your hard work, what's the coolest thing you've been able to do that most kids your age can? I w I've been able to start the Gourmet Circle. Most kids who have started something like this haven't been able to get this many kids to come or this many volunteers to come. Um, so they couldn't help that many people. But the Gourmet Circle succeeded because, because many people knew me, so they trusted me. How many members do you have? Currently, we have two, more than 200 people who are enrolled, and about 150 show up weekly. Wow, that's a lot. Tell me more about the Agora Math Circle. How did it start? We first started in our garage with about five people. Soon it grew because we started renting rooms in Agora High School after we got donations, and then now we have five rooms. That's wonderful how much it's grown. What was your purpose of starting the Agora Math Circle? I noticed that in schools, it was problem-solving skills that weren't stressed much. For example, for math competitions, I had to do some reading on my own because some tricks weren't taught. So I wanted to teach other students these tricks so they can participate in math competition. Also, these, these problem-solving skills are useful in real life, and I wanted to, other students to have that skill. Do you feel like you accomplished that? Yes, I have, because usually only one student is amazing and everyone else doesn't know what's going on. Now there's lots of students that do amazing, and usually people don't do their homework at all, but people have actually started to print out and do their homework, so I believe it succeeded. In the past, you said, My Kumar instructor, Ms. Snaka, was always helpful and kind, and especially strict. She made me do all the worksheet pages and corrected me when I made careless mistakes. Most importantly, she taught me to write down the problem steps so I can see where I made my mistakes. Mistakes are not always detrimental or harmful. If you never make a mistake, you can never learn something new. Generally, from my experience at school, mistakes are really bad. Like with my friends, I say, oh, I got a bad grade. How do you say to your students, like, it's okay to make mistakes? Well, first, I made the worksheets extremely hard, so the, the highest score is about, like, like 50%, because the questions are r r really hard and not usually taught at school. Also, I make them present it so that they know it's okay to make mistakes, and they have the courage to go up there and present it in front of the class. You're a good teacher. What do you enjoy most about the Agora Math Circle? I enjoy teaching the students and then seeing them actually learn things. They enjoy my class because we have some competitions and team rounds and other interactive things like that. I let the students talk to each other and teach each other the problems so they interact with each other and they like it better than just sitting down and listening to someone. Sounds like a fun class. Have you considered teaching any other subjects besides math? I'm the co-founder of the Engineering Circle, where kids are taught project management, math, engineering, and, and other sciences. What message do you have for teachers? What can they do differently that has worked for you in your classroom? I think teachers can be more interactive and focus on giving their students the ability to teach each other and learn from each other instead of just hearing them talk all the time. I also think teachers should encourage making mistakes on in the classroom, but not on tests. Looking at the timeline of all your accomplishments, there was a time when you were going to Agora Middle School, teaching at Agora Math Circle, and taking college classes at Moore Park. How did you juggle all of this? Usually in school, I finish all my homework in class, and in Agora Math Circle, the, it's easy for me to prepare the material since I've already studied all this. College is only like two days a week with, with two or three classes, so I don't get that much homework from that either. So they all balance out. It still sounds pretty busy though. Tell us about the letter you received from Barack Obama. How did it make you feel? It made me feel like I've done something big and noticeable. It, 
encouraged me to work harder to achieve more things. What is the future of the Agora Math Circle and how can the people watching this show help? There's two ways to help support Agora Math Circle. The first way is to donate and the second way is to have your kid join in it. How do you join the Agora Math Circle? You just go to agoramathcircle.com and register online. Pranav, thank you very much for being with us here today. We wish you the best and we hope you keep us posted. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it from Pranav Kalyan himself. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Juniority. We hope that you will join us again. Please like and subscribe to all of our social media sites. You can find us at Juniority TV. If you'd like to provide us with feedback or suggest a guest to feature on our show, please write to us. Until next time, I'm your host, Lear George, with Juniority.